Hi there and thank you for watching this week's WeatherQuest farming forecast. Well, it's been quite a week in terms of weather. We've had some heavy rain, we've had some flooding, we've had some snow, we've had quite a few widespread frosts over the past couple of days. So before we get onto the forecast, let's just take a quick look back at some of the weather that we've seen uh, last week. So this is the rainfall as estimated by the radar between the 18th and the 21st of January. So through four days last week. And you can see that apart from central Scotland and parts of eastern East Anglia, pretty much everywhere saw at least five to 10 mil or so, especially across the central swathe of England and Wales, many places, well, most places seeing at least 25 to 30, 35 millimeters. You can see these areas, particularly across parts of Wales, Northern England, the Pennines, Northwest England, even parts into the North York Moors as well, saw 60 to 70 millimeters plus, many areas as well seeing over 100 millimeters. In fact, one of the weather stations in North Wales recorded 180 millimeters um, of rain over the period of those four days. So incredibly wet across these areas. And of course, we've seen a lot of flooding uh, from uh, in those places as well. More recently, slightly more recently during Sunday, we saw some snow move eastwards across Wales into the Midlands before fizzling out and uh, moving away to the southeast into Europe. But that did leave some pretty decent accumulations uh, of snow um, during the day. So you can see some places in parts of northern parts of the Midlands getting up close to the Peak District saw something like 15 to 20 centimetres of fallen snow. This here is a, a mixture of uh, estimated by the radar, um, official weather stations and unofficial observations um, as well. But you can see some fairly decent snow accumulations in these areas and even further south at the lower levels um, there was um, a good covering of snow and, and even further east where there wasn't much there's a few here D's which signifies that there was a light dusting of snow. So even places further east where it was a much patchier did see um, a little bit of snow. Um, so obviously it's been quite a lot going on in terms of weather um, but that was what was happening on Sunday as, uh, as that came through. So over the next couple of days it looks like things are going to turn a fair bit more unsettled than it has been. Obviously, we have seen some unsettled, a bit of a break in the unsettled weather over the past couple of days, but you can see we've got a fairly active area of jet stream um, out across southern Britain over the next couple of days. And, and going through this week, that's going to just continue to push various areas of low pressure uh, eastwards across the British Isles. You can see a lot of the focus of the jet stream is further south, further north in Scotland. It's a little bit quieter. Much of the rainfall is going to be that bit further south um, coming across parts of Ireland, uh, England, Wales and northern, northern England where Scotland's not going to see uh, quite as much but you can see it's fairly active right the way through there's a, a, a lot of areas of low pressure back down to the west as well which are going to push through and bring some fairly uh, heavy and persistent rainfall at times. In terms of temperature we have seen some quite cold temperatures over the past couple of days there's been some fairly widespread frost quite a few places in the Midlands a couple of nights ago were were minus six, minus seven, even lower than that. So quite a cold few days. And that's been with this, this colder air mass, which is now shifting away to the east. And you can see these yellow colors here, much milder air, which is trying to push in uh, from the west as these areas of low pressure come through. So we're gonna see this mild air uh, move more across southern and central parts of the British Isles over the next couple of days. You can see these yellow colors becoming a bit more dominant, especially during Thursday and Friday when we're gonna see some quite uh, mild temperatures. So we lose the colder air for now, begin to see more of an influence of that milder Atlantic air as it turns more unsettled. But with that does come um, the risk of some quite heavy and persistent rain uh, in places. So taking a look at the forecast over the next few days, this is Tuesday afternoon. We've got this front pushing eastwards here, uh, turning to snow across parts of northern England and Scotland. And to the east of that, it's pretty cold. There's still some quite cold, chilly conditions across eastern England. Um, and uh, further north as well in parts of Scotland and northern England. But it is beginning to turn slightly milder from the southwest behind that front. So through Tuesday evening, that's going to clear away to the east. We get into this slightly quieter ridge of high pressure, a few spells of rain in places, quite misty, quite foggy, but largely dry overnight uh, into, into Wednesday and then indeed through Wednesday. But then this next front pushes through towards the end of Wednesday and overnight into Thursday. So while it will stay largely dry during Wednesday, bar the odd uh, piece, bits and pieces of patchy rain, the next more persistent area of rain is through Wednesday night um, and into Thursday. And you can see again, it's going to turn to snow fairly widely across uh, parts, of, parts of Northern England, but mainly parts of Scotland, as there's still some quite chilly air out uh, to, the, to the east. But this, this next front is the real change into something that's slightly milder. We're going to see some quite mild air coming through from the southwest. This here frame is around 6 a.m., on Thursday morning and you can see the mild air behind that front is already getting into 
uh, parts of um, southwestern England, Ireland by that point. By midday, it's going to slowly move eastwards. So parts of uh, East Anglia, parts of northern England and further north are going to stay quite cold right the way through Thursday. But you can see there's a good amount of mild air um, coming through uh, from the west. So by midday, it's probably going to be extending uh, quite away across the Midlands and into southeastern England. And you can see there's probably going to be a pretty sharp boundary between that milder air to the southwest and that colder air further northeast. Um, and it's all going to be to do with the placement of that front. So don't take the timing of this too literally. It might be you know, 50, 100 kilometers either way slightly. Um, but that generally is the, is the idea that we're going to see milder air come in from uh, the southwest during Thursday and become more dominant across southern Britain um, and Ireland through, uh, through Thursday. So picking that back up again um, in terms of the rainfall, uh, this area is, is Thursday morning. That front's pushing through. Um, over the course of the day, that will clear eastwards. We get a slightly dry gap, but then this next front comes through into Friday before that begins to clear and leaves this uh, slight ridge of high pressure. So a couple of fronts coming through um, Thursday. There is that gap in the middle, but there's quite a lot of uncertainty as to how quickly they clear. Um, although this has them pretty much cleared by Friday, um, the end of Friday, um, there could be that this does linger a bit longer across some northern areas during Friday morning. There's quite a lot of uncertainty, especially with that second front that catches up with the first front as to how quickly that will clear and whether it does in fact linger a bit longer across northern England um, and parts of Scotland. But either way, it looks like over the course of Friday, we will see things dry out in the south, perhaps staying a bit on the wet and changeable side further north, but certainly in the south, it does look like things will begin to turn a bit drier for Friday afternoon, some sunshine as well, as we do get this slight ridging of high pressure um, coming in from the west. But you can see further southwest, there's this very, fairly deep active area of low pressure, which is trying to push in uh, from the west. Um, and again, there's a lot of uncertainty with this as to how far north that will come across the British Isles. Some models, like this one that's going to show in a second, only just skim that across southern Ireland, parts of southwest England, before moving it down into the Mediterranean. But there is the chance that it could just push that bit more um, northwards into central and southern England um, and bring some fairly extensive rain perhaps during Friday um, afternoon. So one to look, keep an eye on, like I say, this model here is just taking it down to the southeast um, before it builds this ridge of high pressure out uh, to the east. Like I said, there's a chance that it could come further north. And there's also the possibility that this high pressure could be slightly shifted um, further west, which would lead um, a largely dry end to the day on Saturday. So as you can see, there's a lot of uncertainty going on into the weekend, uh, the back end of this week and into the weekend. And it all depends on the timings and tracks of these areas of low pressure. And just a small differences can, can have a big impact on, on where their rain goes and how quickly they pull away. Um, and obviously then impacts on how high pressure builds in. So if, if high pressure builds a bit further in uh, to the west across the British Isles, it could be that Saturday night sees quite a cold night um, with clear skies and the potential for a frost by Sunday morning. But this next low pushing in, if it's that bit more progressive, pushes in some rain, um, it could be that we, we see less of the, the risk of frost and uh, more of this area of patchy rain um, coming through. So a lot to, lot to keep an eye on, I think, over the next couple of days. But the, the bottom line is it's basically looking more unsettled. We're going to see some incursions of milder air and the potential for some on and off spells um, of patchy rain. But the best way to stay on top of the forecast and any changes in the forecast is to speak directly to one of our forecasters. You can call them on uh, 09065 777675 at £1.55 per minute plus network access charges. And they're available every day from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. And we'll be able to, to give you the latest updates in all the different models, all, uh, all the different parameters, um, give you any uncertainty. And they're the best way of staying on top of the forecast um, and finding out exactly what's going on um, in your location. So looking a little bit further ahead um, into next week and slightly beyond, this here is the 850 millibar temperature. So this is generally an indicator of the overall air mass we're in. So it's not the temperature at the surface, but it, it shows uh, the, the type of air, the, uh, whether or not a warm air mass or a cool air mass. And you can see um, earlier this week, um, Tuesday, Wednesday, we were in some quite cold air um, across, across southern parts of the British Isles. Then as we see these lows come in during this week, we're going to pick up, um, like I mentioned, to that warmer air. And there's fairly good agreement in seeing this this mild air across um, southern Britain. It's likely that parts of, of, of southern England uh, on Thursday and Friday could see highs of 10 to 12, maybe even 13 degrees. So a lot milder and a lot milder feeling than it has been um, over the, the past couple of weeks. 
Um, but then there is a hint into, into the weekend. We like I say, we perhaps might see that cooler spell on Saturday and into Sunday, but there are more than incursions of milder air coming through on Sunday, Monday. So it's gonna be a little bit up and down. It does depend on the timings of these lows because that's where that milder air is coming from uh, when various areas of low pressure um, come through. Um, so the potential for keeping some mild air going on and off into the early part of next week. But there is then a signal for seeing things slide off into the middle and end of next week. We might see a bit more of a northwesterly take hold and that's gonna push some colder um, a more chilly feeling air um, across the British Isles with the risk of the return to the risk of seeing uh, frost and perhaps a more wintry uh, precipitation. But that's probably going to come during the early to middle part of next week. I think through until then, generally, we're going to in the south going to continue to keep seeing um, incursions of milder air, perhaps this cooler spell um, during the, the second half of the weekend. So looking a bit further out and a bit further afield across uh, the rest of Europe as well. This is uh, next week, the first week of February, um, and you can see really from this pattern that it's continuing to stay generally unsettled um, across uh, both the British Isles, but also further into Europe as well. These blue colours here generally showing below average pressure. So that's indicating that we're going to see various areas of low pressure sweeping through uh, from the northwest, perhaps coming a bit further southwards into parts of uh, Europe as well. This uh, red colour is here showing above average uh, pressure across Scandina Scandinavia, so hints of high pressure uh, ridging in there. And the knock-on effect that this has on the rainfall is that we're going to see low pressure um, coming through here, which is going to get wetter than normal conditions, uh, particularly across France and parts of Spain. You can see then that track kind of weakens a little bit, but there are still hints of the lows bringing above average uh, rainfall into parts of southeast Europe um, and the Balkans as well. Interestingly, parts of northern Scotland, um, as with this coming week, week as well, will likely see below average rainfall. As I mentioned, that whole jet stream is further south. The main track of the lows is further south. So actually, Scotland is going to miss out on some of the heaviest rain and probably end up being uh, below average. And then across Scandinavia and parts of the Mediterranean as well, we will see, uh, likely see below average uh, rainfall. In terms of temperatures, with the jet stream broadly coming in um, uh, west-east, we're going to see to the south of that, um, with that milder air, generally above average temperatures. Further north, including across the British Isles, it's likely that it's going to stay colder than average. With us generally being to the north of the jet stream, we're going to see that colder air coming in from the northwest. So a good north-south split in terms of temperatures uh, for uh, that first week of February. Looking ahead into the second week of February, it's not a massively clear-cut picture, but generally what we can see from this is that the, the track of low pressure generally wants to shift that little bit further south. These quite weak but still blue colours here uh, across southern Europe generally indicating that we're still going to see various areas of low pressure come through, but it's going to be shifted further south. And there's a bit more of a bias towards less low pressure, so slightly above average pressure um, in the north. And the effect that this has really is that Parts of southern Europe, particularly maybe the central parts of the Mediterranean, southeast Europe, seeing above average uh, precipitation. But elsewhere, perhaps slightly drier than average. There still will be spells of rain, still some low pressures coming through. It's not going to be a, a full uh, blocking high, but there is potential for slightly below normal um, rainfall uh, during the second week of February uh, for the British Isles and parts of northern Europe as well. In terms of temperatures, still really a north-south split in terms of the below, uh, sorry, above average in southern Europe, particularly again in the southeast, um, and then staying colder than average in the north, including parts of the British Isles um, and central northern Europe as well. So still that north-south split in terms of temperatures. Looking ahead into the, uh, the third week of February, the week four, there is a slight signal that we could begin to see high pressure building in uh, from the southwest. So perhaps a slightly drier than normal signal here, these pink colours uh, showing that, but further east, these pale blue colours indicating that we could see uh, something a little bit more unsettled. So above average uh, rainfall um, out to the east. And temperatures perhaps still staying slightly below average in uh, northern and western parts, but the, again, there is the hint of something above average uh, temperature wise down in the southeast of Europe. So to summarise, this week it's going to be fairly unsettled with incursions of milder air, some quite heavy and persistent rain at times, falling as snow in the north of Scotland. Uh, it will turn colder again during the middle part of next week, but through until then there's going to be these on and off incursions of milder air into the, the uh, middle part of next week. But beyond that, it looks like it will turn colder 
across the British Isles. But there is the slight hint that we could see something slightly drier again um, into that third or fourth week um, of February. So thanks for watching this week's video. As ever, you can keep up to date with our day-to-day -day forecasts for East Anglia and the British Isles on social media. And if you've got any questions or comments, please write them in the uh, comment section below. Thanks for watching.